Today I'm going to show you how to represent some combined inequalities on a number line. So let's have a look at example 1. So we've got a represent minus 2 is less than x, less than or equal to 3 on a number line. So first of all we need to understand what this actually means. Right, the first bit is minus 2 is less than x. What we need to do then is write this the other way around as x is more than minus 2. And then the other bit of our inequality is that x has to be less than or equal to 3. So we don't have to do anything with this as this makes sense. So x has to be basically a number which is more than minus 2 and less than or equal to 3. So first of all then go to minus 2 on your number line. For x is more than minus 2 you need to do a circle which isn't coloured in. And also go to 3 on your number line, this time it's less than or equal to. So we need to colour in the circle because it has, because it's equal to 3 as well. And then all we need to do now is do a line connecting the two circles as these are the numbers, well the values of x which satisfy the inequality. So let's have a look at example 2. So this time we need to represent minus 3 is less than or equal to x which is less than 1 on a number line. So again let's think about what this means. The first bit then is minus 3 is less than or equal to x. So this actually means x can be more than or equal to minus 3. And the other bit of our inequality is x is less than 1. So x can be a number more than or equal to minus 3 and less than 1. So for minus 3 then we do a coloured circle as it's more than or equal to. And for x is less than 1 we do a circle which isn't coloured in at 1. And then we just need to connect the two circles as x can be any number which is more than or equal to minus 3 and less than 1. Thanks for watching.